going on you guys? I am pumped to bring you guys this video because I have been testing different stuff out and I have found the bag that I'm going to use for 2023. So what you guys see right here is the Eberly Stock F1 frame which they call their E-Mod system. So they have different bag types that will work with this frame. So I'm excited to bring you guys just a quick overview of the different configurations that I found uh, could be a possibility that you can use for your, you know, your big game hunting, depending on what type of hunting you do. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what this pack is capable of. This is just the way that I'm going to configure it. I've been fortunate enough to, you know, have a couple different options in packs, but I found that Everly Stock just feels really good. So I went with the F1 frame and I did make an, an another review earlier on right when I got this pack about just how excited I was to try it out. And now that I've got to really use it and, you know, run with it for, a, you know, over six months, I've found out there's some new systems and I just want to bring them to you guys. So what you guys see right now is the Switchblade bag, which is a 2,500 cubic inch bag. And the Switchblade bag, it's, it's got a roll top configuration with the simple U-shape dual zipper down each side with just an open space middle. So there's no, you know, there's no real packs inside. There's no extra bag space inside besides the 2,500 cubic inches with your water hydration pack pouch, which is fine. And what I'm pulling out right now is the actual independent hip strap and shoulder strap system for this switchblade bag itself. So it's cool because you can actually take this bag off the F1 frame with the hookup kit, which I'll show you guys how to do in a second. And then you could just run this bag in and of itself by itself. But my thinking behind the bag as we get into it here was... This is a cool system to use if you're gonna, for instance, go on a, say a spike camp hunt. Maybe you got a main camp and then you wanna pack in for two or three days into a spot. This bag is not so big to where you're gonna have all this additional space and extra weight, you know, to where it's uncomfortable. It's just big enough to be able to throw onto the F1 mainframe with the configured packs that I have underneath this switchblade, which I'll show you in a second, to just get enough space out of it. And Everly Stock makes additional pouches. Uh, if you guys can see here, I'm not sure if it's zoomed in enough, but there are, there are attachment points here on the front of the bag that would allow you to add additional uh, bags. That's an option, you, you, know, you know, you obviously have your water hydration pouch, which is common, and then you have on top of the switchblade, you have your roll top configuration. As you guys can see here, is pretty simple if you did want to get extra space with that molly webbing on the back if you needed to attach to different things. So the cool piece and why I'm bringing this to you guys is because this wasn't my original idea. I actually purchased a bag previous to the switchblade, which I'll show you here. This is the Super Spike Duffel. And this is a cool bag if you're going into to a longer stay and you wanna just take all your base camp gear, throw it in this bag, it's super lightweight. You could take it off, you know, your backpack, leave it at camp, and then you can run with your bat wings. This is an option, that's what I was originally thinking I would do. Uh, it does zip directly onto the frame, but I just chose against it after I learned about what other configuration types there were. I went to the trade show, I saw this switchblade back, I got a deal on the switchblade back. It was a, like a 25 or 50% off deal, so it just made sense to buy it and check it out. And then I purchased the hookup kit. So the hookup kits, I know that we're kind of far away for you to see it, but there's six loops, three on each side of the bag, that allow you to hook up different bag configurations, which I've, I've obviously got the one bag on right now. And there's a couple different options, but this is the one that I chose. Super simple to use. Um, just a snip, and it, I don't know, it makes me a little nervous. The plastic, the plastic, uh, clips because those do have a tendency to break over time but uh, most 21st century bags are you're dealing with the plastic clip 
Uh, I guess that's just part of running a, you know, running a backpack in the 21st century. There are a couple companies that make aluminum and carbon ones, which they're cool, but you're also getting into the thousand dollar plus mark on your bag. So as you can see, this is a frame in and of itself. You can pull the frame out of this to make it a little bit softer. I decided to keep it in just for the sake of this video to show you guys what I'm doing. But what you're noticing here is underneath that switchblade, I have a completely new configured backpack on this F1 frame. So I have three compression straps that are holding down and holding together my two bat wings. Okay, and then underneath my bat wing, I have a QU stalker bag because the bat wing with the F1 frame doesn't give you an option to run a hydration bladder comfortably. And for a lot of the hunting that I do, I want to be able to have a backpack that I can take as a stalker bag, a bag on my stocks, for instance, through the day, instead of carrying this big, big one around, I could take this straight off the frame, the F1 frame, and then I can use this on my stocks. Uh, keeps my hydration bladder tight up against my back. It doesn't slosh around, which it does when you're using just the bat wings. And this is a configuration that I found, you know, to be exciting to say the least. I think it's definitely got a multi-use, whether I want to go pack in, you know, 10 days, 14 days into the backcountry, or I want to just take the switchblade bag off and just run my bat wings, maybe for a two or three day hunt where I'm going from a, a spike camp. So this seems to be a configuration that I've found to be attractive. And as you guys can probably notice, if I take my bat wings, right, and then just for the sake of this, I buckle them up, I buckle my bat wings, I use a compression strap. Now I have this switchblade bag, which I can open up because on my hookup kit that Everly Stock gives you, they give you quite a bit of additional strapping here. So I can actually open up my switchblade webbing with my hookup kit. And then I have a big open space, a void space here, and I can open up my bat wings and I can put me, I can put my quarters, I can put everything that I need down in between my two bat wings. So again, what you guys are seeing here is the F1 frame by Everly Stock. It's an aluminum frame, which if you guys haven't seen the video on the structure and how strong this frame is, you should definitely check it out. Just go to Everly Stock, type in F1 frame. It's on their main website and they'll show you how much weight they put on this thing. It is, it'll blow your mind, more weight than you'd ever carry on your back. But it's the F1 frame. They call it their EMOD system. There's a couple different configurations. What you're seeing on this example is two bat wings, which is a very, very popular configuration. And then I found my way around the, the dislikes that I had just running the bat wings, which was water hydration, Right? I hate the fact that in the bat wings, they didn't have a place to actually hang a bag that was comfortable without it sloshing around. They just have this little cheesy you know, space down in the bottom, which I didn't like. So I, I supplemented that with the QU stalker backpack, which is perfect for just day use or just quick stocks, pull the backpack off, pull your boots off, put your stocking, back, stocking stuff on, and you're ready to rock and roll. And Granted, this is just the way I'm running this. So this is the way you're seeing it right now. I can pull these off, my bat wings off. I can hook my F1 frame, or I mean, I could hook my F1 frame directly to my, this bag, and I could run it as an independent pack in and of itself if I want to, or I can pack this with me and I could put my shoulder straps and my hip belt, I could pick, put that on if I wanted to leave this at base camp. There's tons of different ways to do it. I could bring my super spike duffel. I could bring that if I wanted to and just attach that directly to the bag. I have a big open void space. Use my my bat wings, you know, as a as a secondary storage. So there's a lot of options here, but I'm just showing you what I've found to possibly be a really really good solution for the western big game hunter, somebody that wants to go out, you know, maybe has a bow or a muzzleloader, needs to get in close, doesn't want to carry a, a lot of gear. Maybe you do a lot of backpacking, you do some spike hunts. This is a configuration from Everly Stock that would work great. And so this is just my pack for 2023. I've heard great things about the initial set, Ascent pack. I've heard great things about the uh, Kifaru pack. So those are definitely on my list to try. But for 2023, this is what I'm going to run. I really, really like it. 
Uh, there are some dry bags that I've, you know, obviously gotten here that I put extra gear in. It holds plenty of, of gear, you know, obviously spotting scope, rifle. I could put 10 days, 14 days worth of food in this and be totally fine. I like the switchblade bag, as you guys can see configured on. It's a really, really simple hookup system. Really simple hookup system. It just comes together really nicely. Slip that guy in there. I don't know if you guys can see this. And boom, you know, you're hooked up. You have six of those. And then you have your, your hip belt on the side, which that's an additional bag that you can buy directly from Eberly Stock. So yeah, hopefully this has given you guys an idea. This is my Rainfly. I keep my Rainfly on the top of my bag just in case I need to get to it quick. Sometimes, depending on the weather, uh, if I know it's gonna be really dry, I'll just stack that in the very bottom of my bag so I don't have to mess with it. But you can buy the Everly Stock medium size bag and you can fit, you know, well over 6,000, a 6,000 cubic inch bag with that medium. And I've just found this to be something that I think could be really a good setup for a Western big game hunter. I do a lot of mule deer hunting, elk hunting, Gosh, I mean, we've literally put in for every single tag available, and this is something that will work. So to give you guys just that idea, let me do my roll top real quick. Roll up. Get this clipped. They have different size frames that from Everly Stock on the F1. Very comfortable. Very, very easy to use. Get this out of the way so you guys can see this. So here it is. Here's the Everly Stock F1 frame with two bat wings and a switchblade with the QU Stalker pack. Feels really good. As you guys can see, it, it looks really good. I have Doppelganger color with the Coyote color bag on the switchblade. And it fits great. I'd say the only kind of downfall or drawback that I've experienced is right here on the shoulder blade, there's these little tiny fuzzy pieces of material, I guess I could say, and they're not fuzzy, they're actually pretty sharp, and they kind of dig in and cut, uh, not cut, but they kind of bug you. So I'm still trying to figure out that. I don't like that at all about this bag. I don't know if mine was just one of the odd ones, but that tends to rub into my neck. So I'm trying to fix that and I've kind of rubbed it down as much as possible. But other than that, I, I really have found no issues with the backpack. I think all the problems that I was having with it, I've got them solved now with the configured bags that the EMOD system from Everly Stock offers. And there might be a different one that's better for you, but this particular system for me seems to make great sense. And like I said, the cool thing about this is if I wanted to, I can take my super spike duffel and I can actually use this as a bag in and of itself on this pack with all the other configurations that I showed you. Maybe this bag as a dry bag with the attached directly to my frame with the switchblade bag uh, using the hookup kit. You know, I can do that as a configuration, take the bat wings off. But this seems to be something that works for me. I like it. I think it's going to work awesome. You know, if, if I come to find a, a problem or an issue with this, then I'll let you know. But if you're looking at ordering this exact setup, you're looking at close to, say, 300, 500, 650 bucks right around there, $700 for this, this kit. But look at what we're getting. We're getting really three, four, five, six bags, different configurations. I can put these together in a lot, a lot of different ways for that money to where most of those companies out there are giving you one backpack, one frame with one bag under 4,000, 2,500, 6,500 cubic inches. So with this, I have a lot of configuration and I think that's what's attracted me to it in the beginning. Just before we kind of log off here, obviously if for instance, we took down an elk or something deep in the back country, we quartered them out, we, we hung them. I brought two quarters, we packed it back out, say, I could drop everything. I could take my bat wings off. I could take everything off of this bag and I could just run the F1 frame with the bench and I could be off again and I can use it as a meat hauler. So 
part of the reasons why I really did enjoy it. I think that it's definitely high up there in top packs, especially for the money with what we just got and what I went over. I don't think you could go wrong with it. So with that, you guys, this is the Everly Stock F1 frame with the Switchblade bag and the Super Spike duffel, as well as the Bat Wings and the QU Stalker pack. Definitely worth the money in my opinion. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, obviously it really helps us out here. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos and more content like this, please share with me. You can follow me at Mule Deer Junkie on Instagram and I'm definitely responsive there. But for what matters, thank you guys for watching. Tune in. See you guys on the next one. Audio.